Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video of our new channel, XGen Alliance, previously Gen X Chris. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, we have a little bit of everything today. We're gonna talk about my car. A lot of people ask everything about it and what I've done to it. Also, since my last video, I have started a big group here in the Bay Area. Uh, the name of our group is 10th Gen Alliance or spelled out XGen Alliance. Make sure you go follow us on uh, Instagram. We are about 30 members deep and have another big group in Puerto Rico, about 35 members deep. So um, it is definitely pretty big. Make sure you follow XGen Alliance and 910 Factory. I will be putting their names right below here. I'll also be recapping some of our previous meets so you guys can kind of have an idea of what we're doing. Um, today I might be having one of my buddies, Chris, come over with his Type R. Uh, maybe another friend, Lewis, but I'm not quite sure. Um, so as of right now, I just got to wash the baby up. Going to give her a nice wax and buff. And uh, yeah, she'll be all ready to go. We'll recap everything. But as for right now, time left for the wash. I hold back sometimes I won't, yeah. I feel good sometimes I don't, like, yeah. I finesse down Western Road, hey, like, yes. Might go down it. All right, guys, so I pretty much got the car all washed up and ready. It's gonna shine up the tires and shine the engine. So I'm gonna show you guys what it would look like before I shine it. Currently what it's looking like. It was already previously shined, just washed it off and gonna re-shine now. What it looks like now, I'm gonna close up the hood. I'll come back to it in a while. Make sure you remember that. All right, now to show you guys the engine real quick before I start waxing. Yeah. Sucks. For some of you guys wondering what are some of the products that I use to wash my car, um, here's pretty much all I use. Uh, our Instagram coordinator, Adam DeGo, recommended Griot, so we're going to give them a try. Um, I have heard a lot about them, and this is pretty expensive, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be real good. We're going to be using it on my car today, so you guys will be able to kind of see what you guys think about it. Turtle wax I really like. Uh, for wash and McGuire's are all good. Um, I have these two different uh, shine. Well, this is a degreaser. You pretty much spray it on your wheels and it put water on it and it's all cleared up. And then mock for uh, engine shining purposes. I will show you some guys some pictures of what the engine bay looks like shined on that product. If you need any, make sure you hit me up. And when you're washing, make sure you always use microfiber towels that are pretty new. So as of right now, I have wax the hood you can definitely see the huge difference uh, i'm waxed in both actually uh same as the driver's side of the car and rear you can see that car is shining definitely recommend griots it's a really light product so it's pretty easy to get off doesn't build up super smooth and good for your uh for your machine um the back side has also been waxed and it's looking awesome just got to finish up the passenger side now all right guys, so I've just finished up the car, waxed and buffed, everything is ready and done. Car is looking awesome. My buddies won't be able to make it uh, as there was a big shooter in San Bruno at YouTube headquarters, so I uh, aren't able to make it out here because of traffic, but I'll finish off the video with my mod list and uh, at the end, a quick time lapse of our last meet. So uh, here it is. So the first thing a lot of people ask me about is the is the Type R lip. Yes, the lip on my car is from the Type R, as you can see. Was it hard to put on? Kind of. Did it require a lot of effort? Yes. That's the first thing. Uh, one of the first things I did to my car was put the red Type R Honda badges on, front and back. And talking about the back, uh, the second thing I did to my car was the exhaust. I was the first person to have the quad tip exhaust out of my car, aka the civet look. Um, I felt like the car needed a little bit more tone, so I added that onto it. 
Uh, next thing I did, I had the interior done. It is red leather all around. A lot of people have asked me if it's just the front. No, it's not just the front. It's passenger doors, driver seats, and passenger seats, rear seats, doors. Again, everything. No, it's not seat covers. It's real leather seats. Uh, I then lowered it on D2 springs. It's the most aggressive drop that any spring kit on the market has. Uh, I loved it. It gives it a good look. Um, I did the smoked blacked out side markers. As you can see there, I, feel, I thought it gave it a great look. I uh, made my own intake. As you can see here, there's my intake setup. I will make a video on how to set up your own very soon now. Uh, and the sun here, you can definitely really appreciate that engine shine now on the car. Um, but uh, anyways, back to the other mods. I installed the 1320 Calvis downpipe. You can see right into there. Definitely give the car a little bit more of an ump. And the turbo spool up sounded a whole lot better. With my short ram intake, you can definitely hear that turbo screaming. So, um, Next mod, I put the Rally Armor Universal Mud Flaps, the black ones with the red letters. I thought it gave it a mean look, and uh, I got custom side skirts done on the car. Bolted them right up to the bottom. On the rear, I have these fins that poke out on the back bumper. Thought it gave the car a missed, uh, uh, aggressive, mean look. And uh, so far, I really love the way the car looks. Um, one of the most important mods on the car definitely made everything better is my k-tuner i definitely have a whole lot of fun out of this thing you can start to see a lot about your car and if you don't really understand how everything works this definitely teach you a whole lot uh, i have a mugen shift knob no i didn't pay a hundred and something dollars for it i got it from work because i work at the honda dealership for free so that's awesome back to the end of the day i have a mugen engine oil tax cover and a high-performance aluminum radiator protection cover. Gives me about 20 or 30 horsepower, and again, those parts were free as well. Um, but as far as mod lists, I think that pretty much covers everything on my car. If you have any questions, please comment below. Hit that like button, and I'll be more than happy to answer any of anyone's questions. Um, but that pretty much does it all. And that is the end of today's video. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead right after this last part uh, throw in some pictures and quick videos of last meet that we had. Uh, it was about 20 cars or something like that. So not everyone got to make it, but still a whole lot of people, different SIs and Type R's definitely showed up. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions or want me to make any videos, go ahead and drop them down below in the comments. And uh, please be sure to subscribe and like. So thank you guys for watching today, and we'll see you next time. All right, what's up, YouTube? We got mad people pulling up to our first SI meet here in California. We got about seven cars here right now. We should have about another at least 10 showing up. Nice. Say what's up to the cam, guys. Hey. Everybody say what's up. Say what's Brother. up. Hey. Show some love to YouTube. That's my nigga James. We got still about two more members over here. The X-Gen Alliance, we actually just uh, named our group X-Gen Alliance or 10th Gen Alliance. Say what's up, my boy Marcus. Dakota, what's that's up? another, he's like a day two. Marcus is day one. He's been here since we first started. James definitely day one, but uh, we lit. Hey guys, which one? Which you know, one say what's you up, want? Adam? So what, we're pretty much, uh, we're, uh, I think we're still missing a few people, but we're all deep in here. I have a couple type bars. Got a black one here. This one's actually K-Tune. Uh, downpipe and the whole setup. PRL, this is the PRL's little boy right here. Matt Porter, hit him up. Oh, look, we got, you brought the little girls with you, John? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. over there. <laughs> Red type bar. Christian, the piggiest <laughs> asshole ever. The coolest Civic SI, AKA the fucking S Type R lip eater. Shit ton of Civics and Type R's deep. So we out here right now, too many niggas deep. Ganging, Type R, SI, 
Rice. Say what's up, Rice? On the gang. We lit. Diplomatic community, fuck them. All that peace and that unity, all that weak shit have ruined me, fuck them. Yeah. Cause niggas started talking to me like I'm slowing down. Opinions over statistics, of course. Gassed off.